got uh I didn't see it when it happened. Like I said, I was gone. I was in a, another state this weekend and uh I heard it. I heard about it. I saw a headline. I didn't think much of it. I heard like brawl Michigan game. I watched it. From what the Here's the thing I hate about the media. From what I read from the headlines and all the little alerts I got on my phone to what I actually saw, two different things. <laughs> yeah. The, I, thought the media the, lines I thought it was the, I thought it was what kind yeah. of punch was that? I thought it was the malice in the palace part two. I thought chairs were thrown and Michigan Wolverines were prowling around the stands. No, it was Jawan Howard got into a little fucking game of puffy chest with another coach and he smacked them. I mean, sometimes you need to get smacked. I don't know what was said. That's the problem. So here's the thing. I'm not saying what Jawan Howard did was right. Not at all am I saying that. But at the same time, what did that other dude say to him? to elicit such a reaction. Everybody wants to play the blame game, but I'm sorry, but you have to be held accountable for the words that come out of your mouth, period. And yeah, maybe that's not the the time or the place to do it, but think about Juwan Howard. That's an accomplished basketball player. He's on the Fab Five. You know he's seen some some, uh, adversity, I would assume. You know he's seen some people try and bait him in in his days. What got said to him? You know, that's all I want to know. What was so bad that what he was told in that moment with people all around him in public, like that man has to have a certain level of self-control, like just in general being, he's a pretty prestigious guy. He's not a nobody assistant coach that was a college kid that never made it pro. Like he's a legitimate bona fide basketball player that dude's seen some shit and had to be cool at times. So, so for some, I just, he had to have been provoked and and I don't know what way. And that's what I'm not defending him, And I'm not saying it's okay. But if what was said was deserving of a slap, man, <laughs> yeah, there was a lot, there was a lot more to that. than The initial one. I'm a big 10 basketball fan. Yeah. And I know I'm an you. Illini fan. So I hate Michigan and Wisconsin equally, so I have no dog in the fight. <laughs> but I went back and watched it, too, and kind of did the backstory. It started out, you know, the game was over. Right, and it was a lopsided win. It was Howard, a lopsided Howard, win. He was pissed that guard called a timeout and okay. with a few seconds left. So that irked him. Yeah, and that's a pretty chicken shit move, but sure. It, it, that, that got him going and. I, from what I watched, I don't think Howard was even going to go through the line and shake hands, but he decided to go through late and he was not going to shake Greg Gard's hand. And Greg Gard grabbed him, grabbed his arm. And then according to his interview, he said he was trying to explain why he called the timeout, blah, blah, blah. But he was, they had a verbal exchange and whoever, whatever, like you said, Brad, whatever that assistant coach, he was far away. If you watch a video He's yeah. pointing at him. Yeah. He then aggressively walks up and says something. And Howard then just bitch slaps him. Yeah, and, and he has to like reach over people to do it. It's not like they it, were nose to nose. Like he said yeah. something. It takes two to tango. If yes. if guard would have just let Howard walk by, I don't think anything would have happened. If Howard would have just walked away, nothing would have happened. But I don't I still it's a bad eye for basketball, but the, it wasn't as bad as it. No. You know, it's not like he knocked him with a fist and knocked him out, right? Right. It looked right. bad, but it really wasn't. And hey, he got five game suspension. It was like forty thousand bucks. He misses the rest of the regular season, and maybe Michigan fires him later on. I don't know. I don't think they will. But... I don't think it's. I, I, no, I, that was all I heard was this dude's getting fired. It was so bad. This and that. I watched it. I'm like, the dude slapped the guy because somebody was talking shit. That's the only reason you slap a guy in front of that many people. You don't just go around slapping people. You can't do it. We're civilized human beings. So so for for somebody to slap somebody on was that on ESPN? Was that a national game? Because Wisconsin's pretty good, yeah. I don't know I if it, it was on it was on some ESPN network. I think so, it was it so ESPN? I wasn't sure if it was on the Big Ten network or ESPN. Regardless, it's a what's that was a Saturday, Saturday weekend game, something like that. Big whatever. Uh Michigan's not very good this year. I know that. Wisconsin's pretty decent. Um, the game got out of hand. And the dude said something, and he got slapped for saying it. Talk shit, get hit. 
I mean, <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's what the internet doesn't understand. Like, you can't act the way you act when you troll around on the internet than when you have to be face to face with somebody. So I, I hate internet tough people. And I under, I don't even know. And I'm not defending Juwan Howard. I'm not a Michigan fan. I'm a Notre Dame fan. For anybody listening, I guess I should have started with that. I'm a diehard fucking Irish fan. I don't have any use for Michigan anywhere near anything that I do. No use. Go blue my ass. Uh, not for me. But something was said. Like that dude had to have said something over the line. Had to have crossed the line. I, I'm. I'm not going to be convinced otherwise. You don't just slap a guy for no reason. So five games, I think that's perfect. Let him sit for the rest of the regular season. He doesn't get fired. I think Michigan probably already told him, hey, dude, we're not firing you, but we got to do something. I think that's something you'll never hear publicly. Uh, they probably asked him. They, I mean, only only the Michigan people in-house know what really happened. Juwan probably said, yeah, hey, man, he fucking <laughs> – this is what he did, so I fucking – slapped him i'm sorry i didn't mean to but he said something and before i could think about it my arm flew across there and smacked him in his stupid face they're probably like now Jawan, you can't be doing that and uh we're you know we're gonna slap you on the wrist and make everybody happy or otherwise they're gonna tweet at us until we do something so you know, you know what i'm hoping for i'm hoping what? i haven't seen you know there's still a lot of games left to be played but i'm hoping Michigan and, and uh, Wisconsin end up playing in the Big Ten tournament. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I want to see that so bad now. Oh, yeah, me too. I, that'll hey, be that, dog that'll fight. be must-watch TV. That'll oh, get yeah. tons of ratings, and everybody will be there for it. So then it'll be like the best thing that ever happened was the slap. The slap sold tickets to the game, put asses in the seat, put eyes on the screen, because everybody's going to be locked in on Juwan. 